Hey, what's up, guys? Eva 94 back with another action figure review. Today, we are looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends series. This is the Wolverine Amazon exclusive figure. Part of the 20th anniversary of the Fox X Men movies, we have another Hugh Jackman Wolverine. This one's kind of based off of the X Men Origins movie, and I think it appeared in another movie as well, so it, it could be used for, for anything you would like or any movie from the Wolverine movies because it's Wolverine. Well, the front of the box is just like the regular Hugh Jackman Wolverine figure that I reviewed already. The side shows the silhouette of Wolverine and so does the back. Nothing too crazy so let's get it open. So this figure is for the true Wolverine fan or the true Hugh Jackman Wolverine fan because if you have the regular one you don't really need this one in my opinion. It's just a different version of him. Uh, actually, for the most part, the upper torso is what's different on this figure. Everything down below is the same. So the pants are the same. Just painted differently. We'll take a comparison look at the two figures later on. But, um, yeah, definitely not going to be your main Wolverine figure. I mean, for some people it might. I don't know. This is uh, an appearance that he had in several scenes among all the movies. So I guess it works. So here's a closer look at... The Hugh Jackman head sculpt is actually different than the regular release, uh, the non-exclusive Wolverine Hugh Jackman figure. Uh, I really did expect them to reuse the same head, so pretty cool of them to go ahead and give us a new sculpt. Slightly different, I mean how different can you make a Hugh Jackman face? Not much, but again, we'll look at that comparison later on. We can see a loose piece for the dog tags there which kind of looks a little on the big side but hey it's pretty cool I'll take it you can easily remove it if it bugs you too much it's not sculpted on there so that's cool pinless joints all right there so that's very nice to see although the regular release had pins on his jacket uh, kind of weird how they went ahead and give us um, pinless and pin at the same time and then going down to the knees there's pins right there so make up your mind uh, we got the bone claws for the hands which the regular release did not have so this is cool we get this option to have bone claws and down to the feet nothing too special there on the back side nothing too special you can see the texture on the shirt and they actually painted the front side of it too so some detail there pretty cool and that's your wolverine so here's the alternate head and we have a more angry head and this looks way better than the angry head on the regular release for sure this still has a little bit of Hugh Jackman likeness to it. Definitely a lot more than the regular release Angry Head. And we'll see that. But uh, yeah, good job on this one. I'll take this one over the other one any day. And if you don't want the bone claws, you can always put on the metal claws. So here's one more look at him with the Angry Head and the claws. I think that looks very nice. Might display him with this head for sure. Alright, so let's get to the articulation of the figure. The head is on the new ball jointed peg, I like to call. So it's not the hinge. He doesn't look up too much. He looks down. Eh, not too much either. Left and right. Uh, we do get the head totes. That's something big with the ball jointed peg that it allows it to do. So that's pretty cool if you're a big fan of the head totes like this. Um, definitely is better on that. Ball jointed hinge doesn't really allow that too much. Alright, so the arms go forward and back. You can see we got the butterfly joints for the shoulders and also as you can already tell this thing just goes everywhere and it gets kind of weird sometimes and you know might get annoying to some uh, I don't know. but anyways there is the butterfly joints for the arms it allows for a lots of range of motion and and movements for the arms there so it's pretty cool uh, not sure if I mentioned forward and back in and out we have a bicep swivel double jointed elbows pinless joints once again uh, we have the swivel at the wrist with a hinge we have an ab crunch at the torso with a waist swivel T jointed legs will kick forward uh, they don't drop down we have thigh swivels in and out double jointed knees and we have the ankle hinge forward and back and the rocker at the foot right there so here are our Hugh Jackmans next to each other. So we have the regular release but the kind of biker jacket, is that what you would call it? Uh, next to the new one, uh, which is the Amazon exclusive version. And we'll take a closer look, but clearly you can see the heads, especially the hair, is very different for the head sculpts. So I appreciate that they went ahead and gave us a new sculpt for the head. 
the lower torso with the legs, groin, feet, everything uh, down below is the same, just painted differently. So the jeans, the denim uh, is a different color. They both get the same effect on the front, which is cool. Same shoes, different color, slightly. And yeah, that's about it for the two front on the side. Nothing too crazy and on the back side, that's how they look. So here's just a normal closer look at the two. And here is a quick head swap between the two. So it works out pretty good, not too bad. I think it looks good. I, I still am a fan of this head which came with this body. They're flipped right now, but you can see the hair here is sculpted to kind of have those Wolverine ears a little bit there. Uh, so both of them look good, but I think this one definitely does have more of a Hugh Jackman likeness. But yeah, another reason why I am happy that they sculpted a new head sculpt. Now you have options. Now if you want to get both and head swap, you can do so. Here's a close shot of them both with their alternate heads on and head swap. So here, clearly you can see I swapped the two heads and the head that comes with the Amazon exclusive is far superior than the one that comes with the regular release. Alright, to start off the comparisons, we have the... Walmart exclusive cable figure and this one has pins so again going back to the uh, the Hasbro picking and choosing their pinless tech figures and there's a look at him next to Domino here's one more quick shot of him next to the regular Wolverine there's the Sebastian Shaw figure from the Hellfire Club box set next to a G.I. Joe figure we have Baroness Black Series we have Honda Onaka Alright guys, and that's going to do it for my review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends Amazon exclusive Hugh Jackman Wolverine figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and as always, have a great day. Bye.